So we're on the eve of the open, open eve. I'm not sure if that's a thing, but it is now. So we'll know in about eight or nine hours what 18.1 is. And it's just really, I was just only thinking about the maturity that Sam has for a guy who's that young, um, who's that, he's that focused in his training. Um, and then the, just the, the joy in which he is to coach because he's kind of very, unusual that I can literally say hey Sam go fix this and this and then he'll go and program 80 to 90 percent of what he needs like the the group programming always has a bias to how do I bring Sam along because he's the tip of the spear and he'll bring everyone else along but we identified with Sam that he needs to improve his rowing fix his hamstrings improve his transition speed um, and then just improve his overall cyclical speed. And he went and fixed all of those things really well. The kind of, I'm borrowing from other coaches here, but apparently the field updates like gets about 15% better each year. And I think Sam has got about 50% better this year. So, you know, we're really excited. And then I can just tell Sam, hey, I need you to do 16.2 tomorrow. And he's like, okay, cool. And he goes and does it. And he's pleasantly surprised. Um, and we're just really excited. And it's funny because people then have asked me, is it like, what will Sam get to regionals this year? Will he get top five in Ireland? And we've always been about the process and how good you can be and can you be as good as you, you want to be? And we said, I said this to Sam that I know he's worked his ass off and I'm proud of him for that. And I know we'll give his best effort and I'm proud of him for that. And we even just spoke this morning and I said, my aim for you is after the Open, regardless of whether we're dealing towards Berlin in May or next year, is that you're fired up and happy. And you know, credit to Sam, he goes, that's my aim too. Literally just finished Sam's sec uh, first run of 18.4 and handstand push up, so it's good to check in how he's doing so far. Uh, we, we spoke before the, before the Open about our aim that if we got to top 100 in Europe, we knew we were on course. And it transpires that right now he's hit 16, so he's in a qualifying spot. And um, that's, that's really cool and really exciting. But what's more important, um, I think, for people to know, and it's a conversation I've had with Sam throughout. So we've made the decision we're going to repeat Friday and Monday. It's just going to be the thing we're going to do. And, you know, the fact that he'll go home and watch his videos and find out how he can do better and do better really, really matters. So, like, 18.1, it was what it was. Um, he just needed to get a little bit tighter and not rest as much between movements. There's not so much to talk about that. Kind of two and three and four so far have impressed me for different reasons. So... Point two, he just got a bit faster and tightened up his movements and then got that clean. Um, but afterwards he said like he beat himself and that was the, the really cool thing that he's only really competing with his best version or his like ideal of the best version of himself that he decided that, you know, I didn't do good enough for myself and that was really, really cool. And then 18.3, I made an error counting his, his double unders at one point, I said 40 twice, I was counting, every, or counting out loud every 10. Um, and he didn't mind, and like, I, I, like, you know, you don't want to be, that's the reason why someone doesn't achieve their dream. He was really cool about it though, he was like, nope, it's fine, it's absolutely, and he says, I'm within nine reps, he goes, that's my absolute best effort, and it's good to know that's my absolute best effort, I couldn't feel my arms, that's my absolute best effort, so that's what he kept repeating to me, so, like, that's all he's concentrating on. <clears throat> Separate to all of this, you know, because he's he's placed so high in Europe right now, we don't know what's going to happen over these next two weeks. I asked him like, how's he dealing with the pressure of all that, and he was just very upfront. He was like, I do this for me and for the people, people I love, and that's what he said. He just does this to do his best, and he he understands how lucky he is to do this. And you know, he wasn't trying to convince anyone of that. He's just talking about it, so that was really cool. 
Today was a challenge because Sam, you know, he's so strong in the pecs, his body wants to arch and the standards mean that that's going to be punished. And he called his first attempt, he did, he got six no reps in his first for, to get his first 11 handstand push-ups. But he, you know, he sat down, we analyzed it, we tested different things. He went up, tried to have a nap or at least calm himself down, came back. I actually asked him, I said, do you mind if people here? He was like, I don't give a shit, it's me against me. And that was really cool because he like uh, clicked himself in into the mode. And then I literally just got a text from him saying, um, I'm true with today's practice run. I'm going to show you what a regionals athlete is capable of. So he's definitely got a mindset. And I'm really proud of him because the challenge, you know, for so many CrossFitters is can I do that? Can I pick up that barbell? Can I get one chest to bar pull up? Whereas the sand, the challenge has always been how fast I can go and how many reps I can accumulate. So it was nice for him to have to overcome that and actually stick true to his values and his uh, self-belief throughout. So it's Wednesday after the Open and as of now Sam's in a qualification spot and I, I daren't even breathe uh, even though we've like booked flights and hotels because there's like the fear that um, personally that I've let him down that I haven't got the video standards perfect enough for him but we've like we've maximized that as well and that kind of I suppose goes back to the mission with Sam is when we talked I don't know, whenever we first breathed the word regionals, that he had the potential to make it, but we could never guarantee he'd make it because we can't tell how good everyone else gets. Um, that was he, was, he was always okay with that. And again, the word I keep coming back to is that I'm proud of him for who he's become throughout this, even this open journey. You know, the results are awesome. Don't, don't get me wrong. The result is, it was cool, and we get to experience regionals together. Touch wood. Um, and you know he's chomping at the bit to try and train for that as well and like do all the cool, the, the cool stuff for that but his cool stuff was last night I asked him to do 100 air squats with his feet facing straight because of um, movement things we think we can get cleared up for for the Open and next year and his future career as well but it was his dedication to the process and the trusting of me and the hardest part for Sam I think, I could be wrong, he could tell me otherwise, the hardest part I thought was when he had to stop training. So after 18.3, you know, he was getting tired on that repeat, his hips were starting to get sore because he did a little training on Saturday and we're like, okay, you just need to rest more, you know? And I told him, go do Wednesday's workout on Tuesday. So he goes, okay, cool. He does 12 minutes of thrusters and pull-ups and then he goes into the class, which was 12 minutes of wall balls and handstand push-ups. And I realized, oh, shit, I better actually be very clear of my instruction to him. And we, we joked about that, but he was so trusting that I, when I asked him to stop training, which is the thing that got him to, to as good as the thing in the open. And he, he stopped it and like he did 18.4, rested did 18.4 4 and 4 again, you know, sending me videos of like him kicking up against his wardrobe, uh, which are just hilarious, but also brilliant that he'd like, he investigated that and like I said, I know you can sit on a bike for an hour, I know you can deadlift and do bicep curls and all the accessory work for an hour, can you sit on the foam roller and stretch for an hour? And he could, and he got his reward in, you know, getting a respectable score on that. And, you know, he's just, he's just been handling everything very well, because I remember people started talking about regionals and stuff approaching 18.5, and I asked him how he was feeling, and he goes, it is me against me, and he 100% bought in and believed in hand you know, he was always wetter, like he'd given absolutely everything. And that's that's why I'm proud of him because he's stuck, bought into that philosophy 100%. It's become who he is. He wants to do his absolute best. He wants everyone else to do their absolute best. And then wherever you end up, being happy that you gave your best is, oh, it's Sam, I suppose.